welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to explain about snar digital signal signature so basically your uh, snar digital signature uh, is actually a based on a discrete uh, algorithm which minimizes the message dependent amount of computation that are required to generate the signature so the different uh, steps that are involved in snar digital signature is we have three different uh, stages one is key generation the second step is uh, signing and the third one is the verification method so we'll go one by one we'll uh, i'll shall explain one by one step the first one is the key generation step the first and the foremost thing that what we have to do is we have to select a prime number which is usually of length 1024 bits so you are supposed to select a prime number which is uh 1024 bits in length and uh, i in in the sense it should be somewhere around approximately you can take any prime number which is around uh, 2 to the power of 1024 the prime number whichever that you choose should be approximately 2 to the power of 1024 and the next thing that what you have to do is you have to choose one more prime number and which is q and you are supposed to choose another prime number called as a q in such a way that your q should divide p minus 1 so whatever the q that you take it should have to divide the p minus 1 usually the approximate value that which you can uh, take in terms of your q is uh, 2 to the power of 160 so that means your p should be 1024 bits and q should be uh, somewhere around uh, uh 160 bits so this is how you have to take this and the next part that what you have to do is you have to take a public key called as even and you have to calculate your public key even and uh, even is calculated using e not to the power of p minus 1 into q mod p so where your e not is uh, nothing but it's it is again a primitive value it's a primitive value of your Uh, you are supposed to select e not in such a way that p should be a primitive uh, e not should be a primitive value of your p so you are going to calculate e1 with the help of e not where this has been given as uh, uh, e not to the power of p minus 1 uh, into q mod p so the next part that what you have to do is you are supposed to select uh, a d where your d is a private key and once you have obtained your e1 and once you have selected your d you have to calculate your e2 so e2 can be calculated using e to the power of 1 because we have already calculated e1 now e1 to the power of d mod p so now that, this is what this is how you are going to generate your key one is e1 is the key that you which you generate e2 is the another key which you generate and d is the private key which you are going to select so you are going to have three different uh, keys e1 e2 and uh, d here then the next part this is your uh, diagram which we are going to have here uh, so this is the schematic diagram of uh, performing a snar digital signature the first and the foremost thing that what we are going to do is here the alice is one user and bob is another user alice would like to send a message and a digital signature to the bob as a part of it he has to first create a digital signature now alice is going to create two different uh, digital signature one is s1 the other one is s2 and he also sends the message to the bob along with these two digital signature so we have two different stages one is signing process the other one is the verification process in terms of the signing process the first and the foremost thing that what alice is going to do is he is going to calculate your s1 or generate a digital signature called as s1 by performing a hash function with a message which is been concatenated you can see this uh, vertical bar vertical bar is nothing but the concatenation operation say for example uh, how it has been concatenated it is concatenated with even to the power of r mod p where r is your random secret integer number which has been randomly taken so you first have to calculate your e1 to the power of r mod p 
and let me assume that uh, uh, the somewhere around it is 636 this is just a value that what i'm going to take so this is the output of your e1 to the power of r mod p this is what i'm going to take as a part of it uh, I'm going to concatenate with the message. Now, assume that the Bob or Alice has to send a message called as thousand. This message and the value that what we have obtained from this particular equation is being concatenated. Concatenation is nothing but you're going to join these two different messages. And this concatenated information that what we have obtained is being given to an hash function. So this hash function is going to generate a message digest in terms of your digital signature, what we call it as a S1. Thing that what we have to do is Alice sends some message and he is going to concatenate that message with even to the power of R mod P. We know P is a prime number and R is an integer number which is randomly selected and it is kept secret. And even is your public key. So with the help of these parameters and the message, complete concatenated information is being sent to your hash function that is H. So along with this, Alice is also going to generate one more uh, signature called as S2 that is your R. He takes R and he is going to perform an addition operation with the private key and the digital signature S1 and performs a mod operation with mod Q. That's your second uh, a prime number that what he has taken. Uh, the next thing is what is what we have to do is your S1 is generated, your S2 is generated and the message is also generated here. So as a part of it, uh, these S1, S2 and message is being sent to the Bob. Now what does Bob do? So Bob is going to receive the message and he is going to uh, verify the signature against the message which is being sent from the Alice. So that's what we are going to see here at this. This is what we call it as a verification stage at the verification stage. Uh, the Bob receives S1, S2 and M as I told you. Now what he is going to do is he is going to receive the message and he's going to concatenate that message with the public key of E1 to the power of S1 public key E2 to the power of minus S2. So it's an inverse S2 is your inverse and he performs a mod operation with the prime number called as P and he, then this entire concatenated information that what he has obtained, he is going to give it to an hash function where the hash function is going to generate a value called as V. Now this V which has been obtained is being verified with the first digital signature which has been sent from the Alice. If S1 and V are congruent to each other, then Bob specifies that he accepts the message and says that this signature is authenticated and it has been valid. So the message will be accepted. Otherwise, it just he is going to Bob is going to just reject it. How it has been performed, how the signing operation and verification operation is done. So I'll take with a simple example. So the first and the foremost thing that what we have to do is I am going to select a prime number. Let this prime number P is equals to 22,267. This is the prime number which I'm going to select. And I'm going to also select Q, uh, which is 103. As I told you, you are supposed to select this 103 in such a way that your Q should divide P minus 1. When you subtract this, subtract this with minus 1. And if you divide with 103, then it has to give a appropriate result. So then the next stage that what we have to do is we are supposed to calculate your even and uh, your even is being calculated where your even is equals to so e naught is selected as we are going to select e naught as two e naught is selected as two uh, in terms of where it should be a primitive of this 2267 so e naught is selected in such a way that it should be a primitive value of your p so now we are going to calculate even with the help of your e naught so E1 is where equals to 2 to the power of that's your P minus 1 into Q. P minus 1 into Q probably will give you, oh sorry, it's not uh, into Q. It should be uh, divided by Q. So this is where we have it. We are supposed to calculate 
the equation is E1 is equals to, I'm going to show that here, we have an equation. Now before we go to that equation, I'm going to show you. Okay, here we have, this should be divided by. So E0 to the power of P minus one divided by Q, this is how uh, the equation should be. Now we have E1 and this is two to the power of, so P minus one divided by Q probably will give 22. And you're supposed to perform a mod operation with your P where your P value is 2,267. I'll just repeat, take P where my P value is 2,267, take Q such that your Q should divide P minus one. So I have taken the value of Q as 103. The next stage is what I have to do is I have to calculate E1. And before I calculate E1, I have to select E0 where E0 is selected as two, which is a primitive number of your 2,267. And now I'm going to calculate your E1, which has been given as two to the power of E0 to the power of P minus one divided by Q. So P minus one divided by Q will give you the answer as 22 and perform a mod operation with 2,267. You are going to get your E1 value as 354. So this is the value of your E1. And I'm supposed to choose your D value. Let me choose the D value as 30. So now the D value has been taken as 30. And now you're supposed to calculate your E2 value. Now your E2 value is calculated as E2 is equals to, we have got even as 354 to the power of 30. D value I have chosen as 30 mod. So this should be your mod 103, sorry. Uh, it should be your mod P, mod P, right? Mod P is 2,267. So now you're going to get the value of E2 as your value of your E2 will be 120106. So now we have got our E1 value as 354. We have got our E2 value as 1206. And we have kept our D, which is a private key as 30. Now this E1 E2 will be sent to calculate or to generate a digital signature. And here is what we have the equation. We have, we have to take an R where your R value uh, will be taken as 11. So R equals to 11. So we have even value where your even value is 354, which we have obtained already. We have E2 value, which is 1206, 12. 06 and we have also calculated the d value where your d value is 30 the p value is uh, first prime number which we have taken is 2267 and your q value which we have selected is 103 so these are the things that what we have now using all these parameters we are pro we are supposed to perform a signing operation with using a snor digital signature so how do we perform that as I told you, we are supposed to generate two different signature. One is S1, the other one is S2. Now you let me assume your, uh, uh, the message that which I'm going to take is thousand. So this is the message which I would like to take, which have to transfer it to the Bob. So now you're supposed to calculate this E to the power of E1 to the power of R mod P. So E1 is somewhere where, what did we get? It is one, two, zero, six, and R value is taken as 11, which is your mod P. So the mod P value is, P value is 2,267. So this is what we are going to uh, have in this scenario. So uh, you get your answer somewhere around 630. So this is what we are going to get after performing this calculation. Uh, now what we have to do is we have to perform a concatenation operation. So concatenation message and your, the second part value has to be merged together. So the output will be 100630. So this is what we have. And now I'm going to uh, make use of any of my hash functions and uh, any of the hash functions which we have seen, SH, uh, a or MD5, whichever the hash functions which we have. So you can make use of that and uh, uh, using SHA fight well, I'm going to generate a message digest for this particular message, which is going to give me as 200. Now S1 is your 200. This is just an assumption that what I have made. 
this is what I'm going to get after performing a hash function. You can make use of any of your hash hash function. Now I'm supposed to calculate your S2. And to calculate your S2, what we have, we have R. R value is 11. 11 plus D is 30 into a product of your S1 where S1 value is 200 and you perform a mod operation Q which is 103. Now after performing the calculation, you're going to get the value of your S2. The value of your S2 is 35. So now finally we have obtained our S1 which is 200. We have obtained our S2 which is 35. And the message which I want to send it to the Bob end is 1000. So these are the three different informations which I'm going to send it to the Bob. So what Bob does, he receives S1, S2 and he is going to calculate your V. Now once he obtains the value of V, probably you will get the value of your V as 200 itself after performing the calculation. Now he is going to verify this 200, the value of V is 200 and he's going to check even the value of your S1, which is again 200, where V should be congruent to S1. If V is congruent to S1, Bob accepts the message. If V is not congruent to uh, S1, Bob rejects the message indicating that the digital signature is not valid. So that's what the video. In the next video, I shall be explaining about the digital uh, signature standard which we call it as DSS. Thank you.